it doesn't really mean that a patient definitely has a cancer. It can mean, for example, if it's found in a needle biopsy, it could mean that she has an invasive cancer somewhere nearby in her breast. It could mean that she's predisposed to developing invasive cancer, or it could just mean that she is perhaps a patient who needs to be monitored more closely because she's at higher risk. The problem is that we don't, at this point, have good ways to definitively sort out those questions. So currently, doctors follow treatment protocols which are outlined as guidelines by various organizations and one of the most commonly used is the NCCN or National Cancer Care Network. And patients should know that these guidelines are developed by discussion amongst a panel of national experts from a multiple from multiple disciplines and they're updated on a regular basis and they come up with treatment guidelines protocols to use as guidelines for DCIS depending on a number of factors besides just the diagnosis of DCIS, treatment usually involves some form of surgery such as lumpectomy in some patients, mastectomy, and plus minus additional therapy, hormonal therapy or radiation therapy, depending on patient factors and depending on what her initial procedure is.